hey guys welcome to my youtube channel yeah in this video or in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your background smooth like this so this is the before this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so let's start i'm just going to delete that group this is what's inside the group all i did very easy nothing is hard right there so i'm going to delete it straight away let's start by um putting our background together and make it look nice so i'm going to control j control j on um pc and command j on Mac. so um i'm going to go straight to my selection to sorry my lasso tool will be better for this so right there i'm going to do this yeah just select the side you want then right click on your system go to fill on this field make sure it's on content array content array is very important then normal 100 don't turn this on i press ok depending on system this is meant to be fast i probably need to change my system <laughs> because this is slow but we thank god so we're just going to wait for it to load this is going to bring out the nice 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 effect let's see this perfect for me exactly what i wanted so straight down just draw straight down yeah then you want it to cover that part of just do the same step feel content away and okay nothing hard so because i want to make this video very fast as possible i'm going to skip all these parts So guys, we are done with doing that. So we want to just do a little clean up to the background. This is very important. Just a little bit clean up, but that's not the final stage. So I'm going to go straight to my um um my patch tool. This is right here, just to patch the bad sides, dirty side a little bit. So for this area right here, I can't actually use my patch tool. I'm going to go straight to my clones tool. I'm sorry, my clone tool. To use this clone tool, you just click on your alt. You look for your init area. Go back to my patch tool and continue patching. Just you guys make sure you just go through this. You have a very, very clean background. It's very important. I know how stressful it can be, but these little things matter a lot. guys i'm done with doing that this is okay for me so this is the next step i want guys to take note of this step is very important and very easy this is where all should i call it magic yeah this is where the magic happens so you're going to press your control or command j two times one two so you have the three layers on top with this layer come to your selection to right there then select subject you relax and chill for your laptop to select that for you so with that done just come i can see something right here my system did not select it but that's not an issue even you go i would love to just correct it right there it's, it's good to correct your things remember your system wants to do a perfect job so that's cool then max it you just max that's the max button right there max that layer then come to your second layer underneath the first layer that's the second layer <laughs> so straight to um your selection tree again then select objects your subject uh, your subject has been selected by your photoshop then um right click on your mouse and select inverse. select inverse that's a good job then i'm just going to press command j or ctrl j that's it right there now on this layer it created i think this is kind of white thing cut off that's the model or the clients or the subjects it has been cut away now it's focusing on only the background yeah with that said go to filter 
blow and the cushion blow i've used it before so 20 is my best i'm going to use now when you're doing this cushion blow make sure your shadows are still showing a little bit don't take it away too much so these are my shadows they are still showing under our shoes right here so it's okay for me i'm going to use it like that so this is it here that's 28.4 is good for me 20.4 might not be good for you so use it according to your image this will help you more then okay then that's it that's how to smoothen your background mind you if you want to make it more better and more good when you are retouching like now i use my gaussian blur to retouch once i'm retouching once i'm done with a face i just come over to the background to smoothen some parts just to make the lighting perfect as if you want to but to me this is okay so right away i'm going to go to my layer select the first one then press shift and press the last layer and then just to go this now here is the before and after yeah that's all about smoothing the background and make your background perfect if you gained something from this tutorial kindly subscribe share like the video if you love it yeah thanks for watching i really appreciate it. see you in my next video bye